the chilling true story behind Netflix's new film. Netflix's latest release, Woman of the Hour, directed by Anna Kendrick, dramatizes a disturbing true story of serial killer Rodney Alcala, also known as the dating game killer. Alcala's reign of terror unfolded while he was actively committing crimes, yet he appeared as a contestant on a popular TV dating show in 1978. The film brings this shocking chapter of Alcala's life to the screen, illustrating how he hid in plain sight amidst his horrifying crimes. Who was Rodney Alcala? Rodney Alcala was a notorious serial killer and sex offender responsible for the brutal murders of at least eight individuals across New York, California, and Wyoming between 1971 and 1979. However, authorities suspect the actual number of his victims could exceed 100 women and girls. Alcala's modus operandi involved posing as a fashion photographer, approaching young women with compliments, and luring them into vulnerable situations under the pretense of taking their photos. In 1980, Alcala was sentenced to death in California for the murder of 12-year-old Robin Samso, but his conviction faced multiple appeals. After new evidence linked him to more murders, he was retried in 2010 and convicted of five murders, including Samso's. In 2012, Alcala was also sentenced to additional time in New York for two more murders from the early 1970s. Alcala died of natural causes in 2021 while incarcerated at a California prison. The Dating Show Appearance Alcala earned his Dating Game Killer nickname from his 1978 appearance on The Dating Game, a popular TV show where a single woman would ask three male contestants questions before choosing one to go on a date with. Alcala known for his charm and good looks, was selected by contestant Cheryl Bradshaw. However, after meeting him backstage, Bradshaw described him as creepy and ultimately declined the date, a decision that likely saved her life. The episode featuring Alcala no longer exists in full, with only snippets available online today. The film's depiction of Alcala and his crimes. In Woman of the Hour, Anna Kendrick not only directs but also stars as Cheryl Bradshaw, the woman who unknowingly came face-to-face -face with a serial killer on national television. The film opens in 1977, depicting Alcala luring a woman named Sarah into revealing intimate details of her life as he photographs her in a remote area of Wyoming. This sets the ominous tone for the film, which portrays several of Alcala's encounters with different women, leading up to his eventual killings. The movie avoids showing the murders directly on screen, instead focusing on Alcala's manipulation and predatory behavior during his interactions with his victims. A significant portion of the film is dedicated to the day the Dating Game episode was filmed, showing Alcala's chilling charm in action. The story of Monique Hoyt One of the victims highlighted in the film is Monique Hoyt, who was just 15 years old when Alcala attacked her in February 1979. After convincing Alcala, she wasn't angry following the assault. Hoyt managed to escape when Alcala stopped at a gas station. In the film, the character based on Hoyt takes refuge in a diner where she waits for police to arrive. Despite her escape, Alcala was released shortly after his mother posted bail. Anna Kendrick's transition to director. Kendrick's decision to direct Woman of the Hour surprised some, given her career largely in comedy and light-hearted roles. Best known for her work in the Pitch Perfect series and Up in the Air, for which she earned an Oscar nomination, Kendrick admitted that the dark material was a shift from her typical projects. I understand that a movie opening with an act of violence might seem outside my usual wheelhouse, she said. However, Kendrick felt drawn to the project especially given the irony of Alcala winning a dating show while actively committing violent crimes. She chose to depict the violence in a way that conveys its horror without being overly explicit. Critical Reception Kendrick's directorial debut has garnered positive reviews, with critics praising her ability to create suspense and bring Hitchcockian tension to the screen. IndieWire's Katie Reif noted Kendrick's skill in blending suspense with moments of wit, while the Guardian's Benjamin Lee commended her for authentically capturing the era and various locations. The film was also praised for its restraint in avoiding gratuitous violence, 
with the Hollywood Reporter's Lovia Jarkey acknowledging the emotional impact of the story despite its execution feeling shaky at times. While not universally loved, Kendrick's first foray into directing has been deemed a promising one, with many acknowledging her ability to tackle such dark material in a thoughtful and impactful way. Conclusion Woman of the Hour brings to light the eerie and unsettling reality that Rodney Alcala, a serial killer, was able to appear on a TV dating show while evading capture for years. With Anna Kendrick's creative vision, the film offers a haunting glimpse into Alcala's life and his chilling ability to charm his way into the lives of his victims. The story's lingering impact is a reminder of how even the most sinister criminals can hide in plain sight.